Right, so in the last video, I showed you that little solar pump and towards the end of the video I mentioned that I was going to make a filter for it. Well, five minutes after seeing that, I just basically saw what I was going to make and made it. And it, God, it must have taken probably no more than ten minutes to make this filter. This is a really simple filter. And it's actually getting a workout now because the trough that I use or the container that I use for water in my garden is filled by the drains that come off my big pond filters so it's always like mucky clay very nutritious water and after filming that video I went up and I thought oh, I'll just fill this trough up so I lifted the slide valve way up in the other side of the garden and then I walked away and forgot about it so it had a whole night of just pumping dirty water into here so consequently the water in there is no longer clear which is perfect for testing this filter so it was a happy mistake although I did lose probably thousands of litres of water from the pond so I think I'll bring the camera in and just show you a top down view of here you'll be able to see the water moving a tiny little bit and then I'll lift the filter out strip it down and I'll explain exactly how I've made it we'll put it back in and then I'll come back when the water is clear and I'll tell you how long it took. I'll just show you what I've done with the solar panel first though. I made this little cradle for a couple of solar panels many years ago and it just sits in there. So that little transformer thing on the back just slots into that hole. And it keeps it angled at a nice angle for the sun. Cable runs down into the filter. Oh, you can't see it because the water's so dirty, but the filter's actually sitting in here. We'll get them out in a minute. Uh, hopefully you can see it. So, our filter is down here, right near the camera. See the water moving there? That's pretty good. I think I'll, I'll just film it for a minute and then I'll speed it up like four times so you can see just how much the water's moving. Right now, this is good, the sun's just gone in, but this water here is still moving. The pump will still pulse and push out a little bit of water. So even if the sun isn't shining directly onto the solar panels, the pump still will allow this thing to work as a filter because it just pulses a little bit of water out. So that, and it's just switched back on now. Hopefully you'll have noticed just there. It's now a constant flow. It's working very well. And this particular thing would be absolutely perfect for a little wildlife pond or a container such as this. This is the beauty of filming videos in the garden. You can pick fruit and veg and just eat it as you're filming the videos. <laughs> right, so I've flipped the solar panel upside down. So this pump has now gone off. That's important because I'm going to be lifting it out of the water. I don't want it to grind itself away to death without any water. This thing's covered in snails. And if anybody's familiar with a really old video I did called Tube Filter or something like that, where I made an aquarium filter out of a polyester tube with a tiny little pump, you'll probably recognize this design. It's basically exactly the same. So in the center of here, we've got our pump. We've got a little eight millimeter hose here. That's what feeds the water out. So as the pump comes on and starts to shift water out, it draws it in through each end. And this pipe here is just a four inch drainage pipe. You could probably get away maybe with a three inch one, but I want to be able to get my hands right into here to get to the pump and pack out all the stuff that's in here without getting my hands stuck in it. So that's why I've gone for four inch plus. If you've got a four inch diameter, that's a quite a big surface area on each end, so it's not going to block up in a hurry. Now around the rim on both sides, I've drilled holes and that just allows me to put hooks in and hang it over the side of this trough. And that just allows me to hang this thing into the container at various depths and also at various angles as well, depending on where I want the water to move to. 
the cable is just held in by the foams that I pushed in here. So in each end we've got three coarse pads. One, two, three, and if you notice that the bumpy sort and the bumps are facing outwards, so they're contacting the water that's being pulled in. That is a big surface area in such a small filter. Then behind that, we've got a medium density pad, which is already getting mucky. Look at that. It's only been running about a day and a half. And that's already attracted quite a lot of muck. And then after that, we've got a mesh bag, which is filled with bio gravel. That's like a gravel form of the bio home. Where are we going to put that? And then after that, we've got our little pump sitting right in the middle of this thing. So everything I've taken out of here is also replicated in this other side. So in total, we've got six coarse pads, which is those ones, and two medium density pads. And we've got two times 700 grams of bio gravel in here. And that is... And what's that in pounds for you guys in the US? I haven't got a calculator. I'll put it along there now. And this is really easy to clean out. And put back together. So for a wildlife pond, you could actually have a perfectly viable filtration system run on that tiny little solar panel with this tiny little solar pump. Just chuck that to one side and I'll show you what I hang it in the container with. Got some paracord with like S hooks tied on at each end. They just clip into the holes and then it just drops down inside the tank. Really, really easy. Keeps it up off the bottom. And as I said before, I can put these in the various holes to adjust the angle that the water is spat out at. So when I clip it on here, so when I put the hook through that side and the other side, and those particular holes, the pump will be pumping out at roughly 45 degrees, which will give this tank a nice circular movement of water, so the dirty water is constantly coming back into the filter, getting filtered and being spat out clean. And I've got no doubts that this filter is going to clean this container which is approximately maybe 900 to 1000 litres. So what's that in gallons? About up to 200, and, I don't know, 260 gallons maybe? That's a lot of water for that little pump to cope with but uh, it will, it definitely will. So I'll come back to this in a few days and we'll see the results. Right, so I've just flipped that back over. It's now in full shadow because I'm standing in front of it, so I'm between it and the sun. You maybe you can't see, but the pump has just started pulsing. So there is a little bit of water being moved around in this tank. And if I zoom in and then step out of the way of this panel you should see a bit of an eruption of water. There you go. Pump is now fully back on. Okay so we're mid-morning on the second day of filtering. As you can see it's a beautiful sunny day, blue sky, solar panels over there. The pump is absolutely blasting away. Look at that. See that surface movement on the water? It's working beautifully. And it is actually starting to clear the water as well. I don't know how well this is going to come out, but that's a, a little plank that I've got into the trough just to enable any hedgehogs or anything just to climb back out if they do happen to fall in. You can see that going all the way under the water. In fact, you can see it down to approximately 10 inches deep, just down here. Obviously it goes right to the bottom. And in here, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see where the... Oh, you can just see the, the pipe there. That's a pipe coming out the top of the filter. 
obviously the filter's black so you probably not going to be able to see that but I reckon by tomorrow that'll be more or less clear and bear in mind a lot of that was clay and clay takes ages to settle out so the filter's obviously doing a cracking job let's get back to it tomorrow okay so this is the end of the oh god is it the third or the fourth day possibly the third day I think and the water's pretty much clear it's early night, it's probably about 20 past 6 up here. So the sun's gone round the corner, it isn't on the panel. So consequently the pump is just kind of pulsing. But it's still doing a filtering job. That's the pipe from the filter that's sitting probably about 10 or 11 inches under the water. So the water's pretty clear. But I think what I'll do, I'll just poke something white, like a white bit of pipe or something, down into the depths and show you how far you can see it. It is a lot clearer than it was three days ago. Okay, so this container is probably about two foot six deep. And it's on the bottom there. Clarity of the water has improved dramatically. That hopefully will have given you an idea of how to make a really simple, cheap and effective filter for a big water butt or a small wildlife pond. And when I put my proper wildlife pond in the other side of the garden, which I'll be doing in the next few weeks, I will definitely install one of those DIY filters because it's doing a good job. And the pond, well, where I'm putting the pond, there's a wall which is south facing. So it should get sun for the majority of the day. That water is going to be crystal clear. The invertebrates and everything aren't going to get like sucked in and mashed up like the wood in a standard pump filter setup and it just seems like a really good solution to me now I'm not always good at explaining things I think I've explained how this thing has gone together and I will put a parts list in the video description and in the pinned comment but if you're still unsure and you want me to make a specific video like with a step by step by all means let me know in the comment section if you reply to the pinned comment I will see that comment because it's a comment that I've put on and if you reply to it that will come through as an email I don't get notifications for anything else for whatever reason I think I'm on one of Google's uh, lists 